Guten Tag, willkommen. Ich heiße Frau Snook und ich bin eine Lehrerin von Deutsch. Hello and welcome to the virtual open evening for A-Level German. My name is Miss Snook and I am the faculty lead for Modern Foreign Languages at Monmouth Comprehensive and the German lead also for A-Level German. I am delighted you are considering German as an A-level subject and I hope that I will be able to give you as much information as possible through this presentation um, about the course and an insight into the opportunities that German A-level will give you. Learning German is a really exciting opportunity to build upon uh, your knowledge of German, not only develop your linguistic skills, but also to give you a real depth of understanding into social issues and uh, of all German speaking countries, including Austria and Switzerland and the culture. So why study German? Well, there are multiple reasons to study German. And the most obvious is that you enjoy and have a passion for the subject and want to develop your proficiency. This knowledge is where we can use languages as a tool in combination with all subjects and German can actually take you anywhere. So here are some of the reasons on this slide, um, which I'm sure you will agree are very good reasons why you should be studying German. The opportunities it creates in employment and business are evident but also the personal benefits it will give you by giving an insight into another culture and the lives of others is really important. And again, it gives you an opportunity when traveling, not just to be a tourist, but to engage with people and to develop unique experiences. So let's look at the core structure and what themes you will be studying. In the first year of year 12 for AS German, there are two themes. Theme one being a young person, German speaking society. And this is divided into three sub themes. Um, the first, we look at family structures and relationships, traditional and modern values. And the second, we look at youth trends, issues, personal identity, which may include use of technology, peer pressure, health issues. And the third looks at education and employment opportunities. So we look at the German education, university system. We also look at apprenticeships and employment opportunities for young people too. Theme two then is an understanding of the German speaking world. So this is divided into two sub themes, um, looking at regional culture and heritage in German speaking countries, which includes, for example, how the Bundesländer may have been formed and what are the regions known for? And um, we might look at traditions and festivals within those regions, for example, Oktoberfest. And we also look again at um, the other German speaking countries, Austria and Switzerland too. And the second sub theme is literature, art, film and music, where we look at samples of famous authors such as Goethe, Brecht, uh, famous artists such as Klimt, uh, a range of perhaps films and music, including classical composers such as Beethoven and Mozart, as well as some contemporary music as well in what's latest in the Berlin Hitparade as well. So in year 13 for A-level, um, the course again has two themes diversity and difference, and the making of modern Germany 1989 onwards. So in theme one, we look at migration, integration, and the policies German has towards this. We look at cultural identity and celebrating difference. Finally, discrimination and diversity, which will be very current. We look at social current issues uh, in the German speaking countries. For theme two, we look at post reunification, so um, that is in order to understand this um, being 1989 onwards, we have to look at pre-unification and to understand why reunification occurred in the first place. So we look at the process, but we also look post-war, we look at the background of the Cold War, and we look how the significance of the reunification of Germany was quite significant on a global scale too, about East and West. We also learn about artistic and political movements, um, social cohesion in present day Germany, and we look at something that Germany is renowned for, economy, the economic impact of a united Germany too. 
In addition to the topical themes, we also study literature and film. So in year 12, we study a specific film, Barfuss, and in year 13, we um, look at the literary work of Friedrich Dürrenmatt, Die Physiker, um, and uh, it's obviously the physicists. So um, this gives students and it gives you a real opportunity not only to be fully immersed in the language, but to also develop an insight into social issues. Um, the study of literature and film develops an understanding of language structures, vocabulary, manipulation of language and total immersion. For the film, you'll be um, listening to it in German and for the book, you'll be reading immersion. So these are really good about our, to improve our receptive skills as well as being able to use them in our productive skills. Uh, it's also a real um, opportunity for us to develop our thoughts and opinions about issues. And this is really important because this is where we develop our critical analysis and, and really um, develop that justification of our viewpoints too. The film Barfus um, is a romantic comedy, uh, explores a relationship between two people who are perhaps for different reasons, outsiders within society. However, through a journey um, of adventures together, um, they come to learn about what they truly want and how they can achieve it together. Um, and we also learn about social perspectives. We learn about society and how um, wealth is perceived, how position and power is perceived. Um, we also learn about attitudes to mental health too. And then going on to the play that we study in year 13, uh, the literary work um, is written by um, a renowned uh, Swiss writer, Friedrich Dürrenmatt. He is also famous for um, De Besuch der Alten Dame, which is um, the, um, the visit of the old lady, uh, also referred to as the visit. Um, and it explores uh, the ethics of science and humanity's ability to handle it um, and particularly looks at how um, perhaps uh, we can manipulate knowledge for personal or powerful gain and and really that again is um, set against written in 1962 set against the background of the cold war um, and again really clarifies an understanding of what was going on in in globally at that time um, but also something that we can make relevant to today's society as well and gets us to reflect and think about that. How are you going to be assessed? So the AS is worth 40% of the A-level and has two exams which take place in year 12. Uh, unit 1, speaking, is where candidates will take part in a debate uh, based on theme 2 and a discussion based around a text in, on theme 1. Unit 2, uh, will then assess listening, reading, translation from German into English, and then a critical written response on Barfuss. So that is a short essay um, on Barfuss, the film. In year 13, the remaining three exams are set to complete uh, the 60% of the A-level. Unit 3 is uh, speaking, which focuses on what we call the independent research project. And this is an opportunity where a student can research on any, as any aspect of German that interests them and present uh, for two minutes on this topic. And then they will be able to discuss it with the examiner lasting for around 10 minutes. Um, it's really a great opportunity to develop those independent research skills and to be able to immerse yourself in German sources um, whilst also really um, feeding your curiosity about individual topics. Unit 4 um, then assesses listening, reading and translation, this time from English into German. And finally, Unit 5 is a critical and analytical response in writing um, about the literary work of Die Physiker. Skills you will develop are countless, and these include the skills listed um, on this screen, which summarised include your ability to become independent, using your German more proficiently and confidently, and to become more fluent ultimately. You will develop better expression, authentic expressions in German, and again it develops your capacity for critical thinking. There's an appreciation of sophisticated use of language within culture and literature, and a real understanding of how the past events uh, within a culture 
influence the society existing today. The wide range of transferable skills um, will last a lifetime. And these include autonomy, resilience, creativity. There are also a wide range of opportunities offered to sixth form Germanists to really develop your passion. Firstly, we have links with our primary schools to where we uh, encourage use of German tasters and projects which will really count towards Welsh back too, but also really develops primary languages and uh, links between younger students and older students. We have strong links with our partner school in Germany in Sella, where students have visited and also worked on projects together supported by the UK German Connection. And there are many initiatives um, offered through um, the UK German Connection, um, including work experience and uh, such as the cultural ambassadors. We also work closely with Cardiff University on the mentoring projects and often students will attend online seminars with uh, mentors um, to develop a, a proficiency in language and develop more confidence orally and also to develop a wider knowledge about specific aspects of the language and culture. And also in addition to that, um, the Goethe Institute has a wealth of resources online available, but also again, a lot of uh, online and opportunities um, funded and to encourage connections between Germany and ourselves. So what will you need in order to study German at A-level? Well, the entry requirements are B at GCSE or A6 in German. However, we will review each individual case. The most important thing is an enthusiasm for German and a real love of the language, because if you enjoy German, then you will really engage with this subject. It's important to be curious and want to find out more about different aspects of society or culture. And in order to do that, we welcome your independence in doing independent research, hence the independent research project in the A-level component of the course. It's really important that you're able to form opinions and to justify those opinions. And again, when we look at specific topics, we will look at a broad range of opinions and viewpoints. So that will help you decide and make informed decisions about your opinions. And then there's obviously resilience, which we really encourage because we know that A-levels can be sometimes challenging, particularly grammar in German could be challenging. But um, if you have the resilience, you can overcome and you can understand all components of the language. Um, and you will have my full support in order to be able to do that. So what are the future pathways and where will German take you? Well, um, German can absolutely take you anywhere. It'll have, as the quote says there, enables you the flexibility to proceed with anything, be it further study or whether it be employment. And in all aspects, as we've discussed, German is a tool, a language that can be used in any aspect, any discipline. So, for example, business, we know that the language of um, German is very important for the relationships there in business. And it's particularly as we discussed German being one of the strongest economies and one of the, the greatest um, production of um, perhaps engineering and um, other such um, areas or fields, um, it's really important for business. And we have science and research. German is the second most commonly used scientific language third largest contributor to research and development, which therefore we have a lot of combinations of students taking sciences with German. Um, it's really important that, uh, as we know, in our 21st century, we have communication, um, like websites, technology is, is uh, again, um, so important. And um, again, we're there looking for translators, um, interpreters, uh, publishers, and Germany is ranked number five in terms of annual publication of new books. And then there's the obvious of tourism and hospitality, where tourists from German speaking countries travel wide and far. So we're looking at a global scale. It doesn't mean that this enable you just to work in um, this country or a German speaking country. We are talking globally languages really do help help you have those opportunities and are a springboard to other languages too. And there are great opportunities um, supported again by the Goethe Institute and the UK German Connection for you to study and work in Germany too. Um, Germany really encourages um, funded opportunities for that to happen. 
So where have some of our students uh, gone once they've completed their A-level German? So you can see that there's a broad range of combinations there. So you could go on to study German specifically at university. You could also go in a combination with more traditional European language, or as we can see here, German and Japanese has been um, studied where we have um, perhaps a, a, a diverse, a different perhaps language as well. Uh, we also um, encourage uh, combinations of other subjects. So we have German and philosophy or German and history. Um, and you can see here there are a range of Russell Group universities. Um, we also have a, a great history of linguists who go on to study at Oxford and Cambridge. And we are well equipped to support students with the MLAT tests and preparation for um, interviews at Oxford or Cambridge. Um, there's one example here of a student who took French and German but went on to do French and Italian at Cambridge. And uh, again, you know, the combination of languages can just be a springboard sometimes to creating or studying a new language. Um, then we also have the science link where we have students who have done biochemistry with an international year at Birmingham University. Um, we also have the, the non-university uh, route where we have a student who went on to study an apprenticeship at a German printing firm with a site in Bristol who studied two years then in Germany as part of their apprenticeship training and then every year has training in Germany. Um, and then we also have a, one of our students who has gone on from an inter history and international relations um, uh, degree at Exeter University and is now studying at the Berlin University um, a master's degree in global history. So um, thank you so much for listening. I hope that this presentation has answered a lot of your questions. However, if you still have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me on the email address that you see on the screen now. Um, the most important thing that is left for me to do is to pass on to the viewpoints of students. So I'm going to introduce you now to um, some of the students who are going to give um, some more information about themselves and aspects of the German A-level course. Okay, danke schön für deine Aufmerksamkeit. Hello, I heiße Rebecca and ich bin 16 Jahre alt. Hi, my name is Rebecca and I'm 16 years old. Uh, ich habe von der siebten Klasse bis den elften Klasse Klein Gesamtschule besucht. Uh, deshalb ich neu zu uh, Monmouth Gesamtschule bin. Um, so I went to Klein Comprehensive School from years 7 to 11 and therefore I am new to Monmouth Comprehensive. Ich habe Deutsch, Französisch und natürlich Verlesisch um, für meine GCSEs studiert und ich wählte Deutsch um, für mein uh, Abitur. Uh, weiter studieren mit Mathe und Betriebswirtschaft. Um, so I studied German, French and obviously Welsh for my GCSEs and I've chosen to continue studying German for my A-levels along with maths and business studies. Uh, ich liebe Mathe und Betriebswirtschaft, uh, jedoch uh, mein Lieblingsfach Deutsch ist, es gibt viel zu lernen und ich glaube, dass Fremdsprachen um, viele Möglichkeiten für die Zukunft bieten. Um, so, I love maths and business studies, however, my favourite subject is German. There is so much to learn and I believe that foreign languages provide so many opportunities for the future. Ohne Zweifel, dass Fremdsprachen uh, manchmal schwierig uh, sind, aber müssen sie uh, die Gelegenheit ergreifen, weil sie viele Ressourcen gibt, um, um einem zu helfen. So without a doubt, uh, foreign languages are sometimes difficult. However, you must embrace the challenge because there are lots of resources available to help you. Um, wenn ich die Schule verlassen, um, ich möchte ich um, auf die Uni gehen um ein Hochschulabschlussen uh, in Deutsch zu machen. Uh, danach hoffe ich uh, Lehrerin uh, werden. When I leave school, I would like to go to uni in order to do a German degree. Uh, after that, I hope to become a teacher. Um, ich möchte für ein Jahr oder zwei uh, in Deutschland arbeiten, uh, weil ich mein Deutschkenntnisse benutzen und üben kann. Außerdem denke ich, dass es eine gute, eine gute Erfahrung sein wird. 
Um, I would like to work in Germany for a year or two because I can use and practice my German knowledge. Also, I think that it would be a good experience. Danke für hören und viel Glück. Thank you for listening and good luck. Hallo, ich heiße Mason und ich bin 16 Jahre alt. Vor meinem Abitur studiere ich Biologie, Chemie, Mathe und Deutsch. Hello, my name is Mason and for my A-Levels I'm studying Biology, Chemistry, Maths and German. Ich lerne gerne Deutsch, weil ich es interessant finde und wenn man andere Sprachen spricht, kann man andere Kulturen erleben. I enjoy learning German because I find it interesting and when you speak other languages, you can then experience other cultures. In diesem Kurs habe ich den Film interessant gefunden. Ich habe ihn interessant gefunden, weil er einen Einblick in deutschen Kultur gibt. In this course, I found the film interesting. I found it interesting because it gives an insight into German culture. Ich finde Hören schwierig, weil man erst einen Satz verstehen muss, bevor man antworten kann. Ich habe das durchgearbeitet von deutschen Podcasts aufgearbeitet. In this course, I found listening difficult because before you can respond to a sentence, you have to first wholly understand the sentence. And I've been working through this through listening to German podcasts. In der Zukunft würde ich gerne Biochemie in Deutschland studieren oder in Großbritannien studieren und dann ein Auslandsstudium in Deutschland absolvieren. In the future, I would like to study biochemistry in Germany or in the UK and then study abroad in Germany.